Hello everyone and welcome to one of the best inventory barcode solutions in the market. So I will walk you through all the different sections. So let's begin. So first of all, this is the list of your products you have. You can filter by many uh, ways, by categories. So you just need to click on the category you are interested in, make it easy to access and also by subcategories and by brands, whatever. Uh, fits your business then on the left side you have many warehouses or shops so you can manage many shops or warehouses at the same time in the same system uh, here you can uh, add your products in many ways the first one is you can just scan by a barcode system the second way is you can search by product name so you can just uh, write whatever name here and it will come automatically here the the other way also is by the SKU number so you can also type it here it will come automatically and the last way is just just uh, click on the product and it will come automatically here so here you could just uh, select whatever product the customer wanna purchase and uh, th that's it and you go to payment and uh, that's it so you go to payment and you choose the way they paid this is just important for uh, reporting and you just click submit. I don't want to submit to not to miss with the inventory, but I can show you uh, like uh, the receipt on, from the other uh, uh, sections. And here you can have like the you can uh, suspend uh, sometimes if you have uh, some clients. Uh, let's say for example they come to you with many items and then they need to change something else and on the meantime there is another customer waiting so you can just like suspend this uh, order until they come back and you can uh, continue with uh, his orders so you don't have to repeat all these orders from the beginning so here let's go to the dashboard so here you can see an overview of uh, the sales previous sales of the previous months and uh, taxes everything here you can have like uh, also an overview of the sales so let's say this is what we are talking about so, so this is the receipt of the sales so you can send it by email print it or any uh, whatever you like here you can see the quotations purchases transfers transfers means like transfer from one warehouse to the other you can have a list of customers suppliers here you have also the best sellers of the previous uh, two months. So you can have it here. You can know what the best sellers. So on this section, we'll have the list of top products. So these are the products listed on, uh, on the system. So you can see different uh, information. So like the, this is then uh, the SQO number, the photo, the the name, the brand, the categories, so the cost. So this customer, she's not interested in the cost because they are the factory. But for other clients, it's important to list it because uh, it's important for uh, reports. So you can understand what what are your uh, what is your net profit and uh, you can have the price, the quantity, the unit. So you can change it to whatever. This is like piece. So you can change it to whatever fits your business, like kilogram, liters, whatever, centimeter. Also, you can set alerts here. So let's say you, once you have only like one item, then you receive a notification here that your product is like uh, is about to finish. So you have to order before it's too late. So here you can add the product, a new product. You can uh, select the product type and uh, all this kind of information and also you can uh, put the quantity in your different shops so also here you can import uh, previous products if you have like a document uh, like a excel uh, sheet here you can make some adjustment on the on the quantity here you have the stock count. You can also print like the like a list of uh, barcodes. So let's say we need this uh, product here. So let's say I would just select like ten. I need ten inventory uh, like barcodes. 
So here you have it, you can just print it and stick it to the products directly. So we, we can generate these uh, barcodes internally in the software. Here you have the list of sales, so you can see all the previous sales. You can just look by the by this reference. So you can go anywhere and at any date in the in the past, and you just see like the product that has been purchased with all the details and the tags and everything. Then here you can add also sales, preview sales. So let's say a sale that happened in the, because this, it has like a timestamp. So let's say uh, you have a sale that you forgot for any reason to include, so you can add it later on here. So here you can have like, if you have some orders, you can also have the delivery section. Uh, here, if uh, your business, you are interested in quotations so you can uh, send the customer a quotation here purchases so you can have the all the kind of uh, purchases so let's say you have a new income of products so you can uh, add it here as well and also you can uh, put the status here if it's like paid or not paid or whatever so you can have all the kind of uh, information here here you have the list of expenses. So let's say you have uh, some expenses in your business, electricity, whatever. Uh, this is again important for reporting. So you can have a clear idea. So this is my inputs. This is my expenses. And this is my uh, uh, what I'm getting. So my sales. So later on, you can have like the net profit from your shop. So you can include everything like the salaries, the electricity anything that you are spending you can include it here you just add expense and you can add it in your uh, shop so here you can see what kind of expense and which warehouse we are talking about the amount and uh, whatever like you can have this uh, attachment receipt or whatever then you have here transfers, transfers as explained. So you can, you have many warehouses. Let's say you have some shortage from some items. You can just transfer it from one warehouse to the other. So it will be, everything will be recorded in the system and it will take, let's say the inventory from this product to the other shop, from this shop to the other shop. So the inventory is uh, correct. So you can add also same with the CSV files. So you can include all these. Uh, if you have multiple uh, transfers, so you don't have to do it one by one. Here you have returns. So if some customers, they return some products, so you can just uh, uh, include it here. So it's easy for you to track because let's say you have uh, one item, let's say 10 pieces, then you sold one, so now we have only nine, and now this uh, one customer returned this uh, item to you for any reason, then once you put it on returns, then it will correct uh, your inventory, uh, so it will become 10 again. So, so here is how to return to add the return. And again, this, uh, everything you can, if you have a uh, inventory, like a barcode system, it's easy. This is how you just scan it, and uh, that's it. It will uh, read it automatically. And here you have the section of people. So this is the list of uh, dealers, the customers, suppliers. So you can manage it here. And uh, one also, this is notifications. So for, let's say you have, uh, you set like some uh, alarms. So once you have, let's say for one item, one piece or five pieces whatever fits your business you can just make uh, notifications it, you will receive uh, automatically on notification here so you are informed that you need to uh, buy this uh, product before it's too late so you will receive all the list here on this uh, section and this is like uh, like uh, settings so you can add categories like uh, taxes for warehouses templates everything backup and finally this is uh, very important so you have here the reports so you can understand how is your business is going so far so you can hear you as you can see like the expiries some products can have expiry dates daily sales 
purchases, profits, payments, everything you can, you will need, you will find it here. So let's go to daily sales. So here you can go to any date, you can find like, okay, this is how much I sold, this is the taxes, whatever, discounts, everything you can see here. Okay. Then you can also go to the monthly, monthly sales. Okay, here, so you can see how much you have sold on different months here. You can also see the, let's say your staff, some businesses, they need to, to understand like how much they have some kind of uh, commissions for their staff. So, so you can go to any of your staff and you can see how much he sold because everyone will have different login and password. So you can check like how much they sold and when they logged in and payments, purchases, sales, everything you can have on this specific stuff. So you have all this, we will not go through all of this, but you can, uh, you can contact us, we can give you like a demo version so you can uh, check by yourself and uh, check it on your business. So if you need a demo version, so you can just contact us here on this email and ask us for a demo and, uh, and we will uh, send you a demo login and password. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and uh, See you.